Okay guys I welcome you all to Engineers Academy do subscribe my channel if it helps in your learning now we are going to solve these two problems which says that the 20 kg crate is lifted by a force f which is equal to 100 plus 5 t squares in newtons and t is in seconds determine the speed of the crate when t equals to 3 seconds starting from rest so the initial velocity v1 is 0 Now in the second problem it is said that the same 20 kg crate is lifted by a force 100 plus 5 t square with that same force where t is in second determine how high the crate has moved upward when t equals to 3 seconds starting from rest so we have to find the vertical distance traveled by this crate from its initial position in the second problem so we we are asked to find the velocity after 3 seconds and the distance the vertical distance traveled after 3 seconds by this crate So for that we have to draw the free body diagram. So since the, this rho, we will uh, since we have that same force here, which is equal to the rope is subjected to that force, which is a function of time. That is 100 plus 5 t square. This is in newton, and this rope is continuous. So we will have that same force f here as well, and we will have that same force f here as well. So this is f, and this is f. and now the weight of the crate is acting vertically downward and this that is 20 the mass is 20 times 9.81 so this gives us 196.2 newtons now to find the the velocity after 3 seconds we are going to apply the principle of uh, lean impulse and momentum which says that the initial momentum plus the summation of the impulse due to the external forces this is equal to the final momentum and we are going to apply this uh, this principle of linear impulse and momentum in the vertical direction and this is our assumed positive direction so now the initial velocity is zero so this will become zero and as we can see that these two f forces are acting in the upward direction so their impulse will be positive so you are going to write plus 2f into dt and the impulse due to the weight is negative so you will write minus and that is 196.2 dt and this is equal to the mass is 20 times v2 that is the final velocity now first of all we are going to find the generalized equation of v2 in terms of t so we have to integrate this from 0 to t this is from 0 to t if we integrate this from 0 to 3 so we will get v2 uh, velocity of the crate after 3 seconds we will get that value so i want to have v2 in terms of t right so we want to achieve this so if we want to uh, achieve this v2 as a function of time so we have to integrate this from 0 to t now we can write this term is this will be we can write that two outside of integration and f is has a f is given as a function of time so we can write that this is f this is 2 times f this is that f dt this is from 0 to t minus and 196 is constant and this is 2 dt this is from 0 to t and this is equal to 20 v2 now if we integrate this is 2 and the integration of this will be 100 t plus 5 t to the power 3 divided by 3 and this is from 0 to t minus 196.2 t and this is from 0 to t and this is equal to 20 v2 so now if we put these limits this is 2 and this will be 100 t plus 5 divided by 3 t cube and minus 0 if we put this uh, lower limit that is 100 into 0 is 0 and this into 0 is 0 so we will get that 0 and this is minus 196.2 and this will be t minus 0 so this is equal to 20 v2 now we can write this equation as 196.2 into t and we will have the equation like this so now uh, if if i divide this whole equation by 20 so we will have 2 by 20 and this is 196.2 divided by 20 and if i multiply this inside so we will have 2 into 100 divided by 20t plus 5 into 
5 into 2 divided by 3 into 20 minus and this will become t cube and 196.2 divided by 20 t equals to 20 v2. Now we can take uh, t constant from both of these terms, right? So first let me simplify this. This is 200 divided by 20. So 200 divided by 20 will give us 100, right? 200 will give us 10, right? So this is 10 t and this is 5 into 2 is, 5 into 2 is 10, 10 divided by 3 into 20 is 60. So this gives us 0 0.167, 0 0.167 t to the power 3 minus 196.2, 196.2. Hundred and ninety six point two divided by twenty. This gives me nine point eight one. Nine point eight one t equals to twenty. This will this will become v two if we divide the whole equation by twenty, right? So this is v two. And now if we add both of these, so this will be ten minus nine point eight one. Ten minus nine point eight one. This gives me zero point one nine t. 0 0.190 plus 0 0.167 and this is equal to v2. So this is the velocity after some time t. Now if you want to find v2 after 3 seconds, so we have to put t equals to 3 in this equation. So v2 is equal to 0. 1 9 into 3 plus 0 0.167 into 3 to the power 3. So this is 0 0.19 0 0.19 into 3 plus 0 0.167 into 3 to the power 3. So this gives me v2 equals to 5.08 approximately. So the velocity after 3 seconds is 5.08 seconds and this is v2 and we get this value as positive. So this means that the crate is moving in the upward direction with a velocity of 5.08. This is meter per second. Now to find the vertical distance traveled by the crate we are going to apply this equation this is v2 we can write that this is v2 equals to 0 0.190 plus 0 0.167 t to the power 3 and we know that this v2 will this v2 is equal to ds by dt and if we multiply both side by dt so we will have the equation like this so ds is equal to and now we have to integrate this now if we integrate this, so we will integrate this from 0 to s. Let's say s is the distance traveled after some time t and this is from 0 to t. So from this we will get s equals to 0 0.19 t square divided by 2 plus 0 0.167 t to the power 4 divided by 4. And this is from 0 to t and if we put these limits we will get the same equation since by putting the lower limit everything will become 0. So this is s after some time t. Now to find uh, the vertical distance traveled after 3 seconds we have to put t equals to 3 in this equation. So that will be uh, 0 0.19 0 0.19 into 3 square divided by 2 plus 0 0.167 multiplied by 3 to the power 4 divided by 4. So this gives us 4.236. So we can say that this is approximately 4.237 meters. So after 3 seconds the crate travels 4.237 distance from the initial distance. Let's say that, that this line is the initial distance. This is the initial reference. So from this reference, when t equals to 0, this is the initial reference. So when t equals to 3 seconds, the crate covers 
4.237 distance from this reference line and the velocity after 3 seconds is 5.08 meter per second. So this is the solution of these two problems. I hope this will help you in your learning. Do subscribe my channel if it helps in your learning.